All right, here we are in the extension. And Frederick has talked my ear off for 20 minutes already and I wasn't recording. And we are going to go over some fabulous questions. Remember to like and subscribe and put it in the comments. If you love this dude, we're also going to put in the description his channel and you can hear him talk to people more. All right, first question. Do you ever see repeating numbers? No. Never? But I, I find it interesting. I know these people. I, I just talked to a friend last week who she's making a major life decision because she keeps seeing a combination of numbers. I don't know if it's 777 or something. But like literally, I was talking to her last week and she was like, then I open, I opened the door and it was this number. And then I went to a restaurant and parked and I looked up and it was that same number. So I, I, I'm always fascinated when people, I know a woman on Instagram, every time she sees a certain combination of numbers, she takes a picture and posts it. I, I've never seen the repeated, maybe I'm missing it. I might be missing it, but I've never, the repeated numbers have not revealed themselves to me. We will find out after this. Uh, okay, is there a food that you really wish you liked, but you just don't? <sighs> Brussels sprouts. Really? Especially now that they're like the hottest, trend, one of the hottest, trendiest foods. What is up with that? Like Brussels sprouts and all the Brussels sprouts. And now it's like fancy pants. And the most of them say, will you like a chard? No, that just means burnt. Would you like me to burn some Brussels sprouts and charge you $15 for it? Yeah, Brussels sprouts have made an amazing comeback. I mean, they, they were just like the come Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. I mean, it's like these people are doing like 10 million things with cauliflower. They're making buffalo, buffalo wings. With no, cauliflower. they are making pizza bread with cauliflower flour. Right. <laughs> so right. Brussels sprouts and cauliflower, it's a tie. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll take go away from the vegetables. Uh, where in the world have you not visited, but you want to? Okay, you know, there's, there's uh, two places in particular I very much want to go for years, and I need to hurry up and just do it, because it's literally, I've been talking about this for over 10 years. I want to go to Madrid because Pedro Almodovar is one of my favorite filmmakers. Uh, he's a Spanish filmmaker who's maybe made at least two dozen, maybe a, uh, two dozen films at this point. All of his films take place in Madrid. And I've been a fan of his movie since I was a teenager when I saw the first one, Woman on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, I saw as a teenager. That was, that was like, <laughs> it's a dark comedy, but that was like his third movie. But I feel like Madrid has always called me as I've watched his films since I was a teenager. So that, and then I want to go to Copenhagen. I don't know why Why it's those shoes, Europe? those Dutch shoes. I want to, <laughs> um, I want to I'm ride sorry. a bike. I'm sorry, bike. but Copenhagen is in Denmark, not Holland. It's in Denmark, right. I know that. I know that. Oh, I've oh, been oh. to Holland three times. Oh, but you said those Dutch shoes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not the, I'm sorry. Oops, sorry, sorry. Um, Danish, Danish. Okay, okay, we just bring it back to Eddie Redemar in Copenhagen. Okay, all right, keep going. Let's move on. Sorry. Favorite phrase doesn't have to be in English. Favorite phrase, okay, I don't know if it's a favorite, but one that my I get made fun of for saying a lot. You'll get a kick out of this. Long story short. <laughs> the story would be a heck of a lot longer. All right, and what's the craziest nickname you've been called? Um, I don't have a lot of nicknames. I have a cousin and an aunt. It's the, the cousin is the daughter of the aunt. Um, Fredro Star. They've called me Fredro Star. Now, Fredro Star was a was a was a rapper. I think maybe back in the '90s. I don't know that he became like mainstream successful, but he was. This was a real person, so I think that's where they got it from. So then I just became Fredro. So actually, to her brother as well. So that whole family—that mother and two children, that aunt and two cousins. 
they call me Fred Rostar. So that's kind of nobody else in the world. I don't really, I get Fred or Freddie and there's Frederick. So I don't really, really get nicknames that often. I just get a variation on my name. Fred Rostar is probably the most genuine nickname I've ever been called. I love it. Has anyone ever said to you, what the F? <laughs> no, that would be a no. <laughs> All right. Well, I've had so much fun and deep sure. conversation yeah. with you today. We are going to remind everyone to like and subscribe to the channel. And if we want him back, and I know we do because he's got plenty to say yes. and questions you want to ask him, pop them in the comments, pop, pop, pop. In the meantime, the message is go into source and connect. And that's how this man has this sense of humor now from this traumatic event from when he was younger. So let's say goodbye to people. Bye.